Today, let's solve questions related to advanced communication systems in AP EZ 2021 question paper. So, let's start with question number 146. What is the ratio of maximum power density in a desired direction to average power radiate from an antenna? This is nothing but directivity. Remember, the ratio of the power radiated in a particular direction to the actual power is called power gain and directive gain is the ratio of the power radiated in a desired direction to the average power radiated from antenna. So maximum directive gain is called directivity. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Which of the following polarization is used in monopole antenna? Linear polarization takes place in a monopole antenna. In dipole antenna also linear polarization will be taking place whereas polar parabolic reflectors will be having polarization of the feed and in helical antenna only you will be having circular polarization. So linear polarization is in monopole antenna. For a better understanding I will show you the image of how exactly polarization will look so see this this is linear polarization and this is circular polarization next what is the reason for carrying multiple transponders in satellite multiple transponders remember Virtually all modern communication satellites contain multiple transponders which will permit more signals to be transmitted or received. Now each transponder operates on a separate frequency but its bandwidth is wide enough to carry multiple channels of voice, video and digital communication, digital information. So here in this case if you observe more number of operating channels will be the better answer compared to the other options. Next question. What type of handovers is supported by LTE? LTE means long term evolution. LTE will be supporting only hard handover and it does not receive data from two different frequencies at the same time because switching between two carrier frequencies is very fast so soft handover is not required so here it works for only hard handover next question klystron tube used in a klystron amplifier is which type of beam so to understand this particular problem if you observe you will be having a linear beam which is in this klystron amplifier. In a klystron amplifier, the electron beam passes through two or more resonant cavities. The first cavity accepts the RF input and modulates the electron beam by bunching it into a high density and low density regions. Remember this which is a microwave device in which the frequency of operation is determined by the biasing field strength. Gyratron is a microwave device in which frequency of operation is determined by the biasing field strength and electron velocity which is as opposed to the dimensions of the tube itself. This makes gyrator a special and useful for microwave frequencies. The radar in which both transmission and reception is done using the same antenna is called. Remember same antenna is used for both transmission and reception in monostatic radar whereas bistatic radars transmitter and its antenna are at the same location and receiver and its antenna are located in another location separated by a reasonable distance. What is the main requirement with fibers that are intended for splicing? Remember 
a requirement with fibers intended for splicing is that they must have smooth and square faces for optical fiber end preparation so that fibers can be clean next question what is the device that distributes light from main fiber into one or more branch fibers a fiber coupler main function is to split input from two input input light into two or more outputs it will be looking something like port 1 port 2 so this is a coupler which will be splitting the light into two or more outputs this optical fiber coupler is used in generally local area networks and computer networks which is a question for the upcoming examinations what is the approximate distance between directors for yagi uda antenna operating at a frequency of 150 megahertz we know wavelength formula is given by lambda is equal to c by f here the frequency is given as 150 megahertz so velocity of light is 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second and operating frequency is 150 megahertz so if i do the calculations i will be getting lambda is equal to 2 meters now remember the distance between directors of yagi uda antenna is given by 0.2 lambda and here lambda is 2 meters which means 0.2 into 2 is nothing but 0.4 meters so try to remember this particular formulas with this the questions related to advanced communication systems are completed in, in 2021 question paper